Welcome back to another progress update for Screens Divinity, Disciple of Obatus. Oh, you get to see a little bit of the behind the scenes. This is uh, the sort translucency. You don't need to worry about any of this. I just keep this here so I can keep track of it, but it's basically just um, what you know what needs to be rendered in front of what in terms of the sprites, but it's not important. What I'm showing off is the uh, I don't know if I shoot off, showed off the campfire flicker yet, so we're gonna show off the campfire as well as the campfire smoke. So the smoke, uh, as you can see, rises up and will, uh, you know, do whatever that is. <laughs> so the uh, the campfire light is also flickering, um, but that's not as uh, impressive, I guess. I want to talk about the smoke, so smoke obviously rises up and it will randomly go left or right well, I say randomly but it basically chooses between going left a certain length and going right a certain length and they also all spawn at random sizes um, and they'll randomly spawn at different times too so it's basically just completely random um, the smoke is going to be on all campfires it could be used for chimneys all sorts of stuff it's very versatile and this is how it's set up I know it's a little bit messy but when we begin playing we need to make sure to set the location and we're going to get the multiply and I'll show you why in a second the multiply it's just you know it'll, rent, it'll get a um, it'll choose between anywhere from negative 1 to negative 0.5 or from 0.5 to 1 so anything in between those two or anything in between um, negative 0.5 and 0.5 is excluded so nothing in the middle um just makes an array and then randomly chooses between the two and sets that as a multiplier and then we start the timeline now the timeline has uh two two things one of them is opacity one of them is a uh i don't even know what this is called it's, it's um vector it's a vector track so the red is the X and Y, or sorry, the X, which is left and right. So it will go left, right, left, right. The, uh, the Z is up and down. It just goes straight up. And the opacity, it's always 0.75 up until around two seconds in. when it That's when it starts to decrease and goes invisible. But it's always a little bit opaque or translucent. Yeah, it's always a little bit translucent. Um, and then using these values, we have the start location, we, so we can add on the uh, the um, the Z, right? So we can add it on or add on the X. So the left and right, the X, obviously we get the starting location and we add it to this, where we add this to it, I should say left right left right but we also multiply it by this so it will either start going to the right to the left uh, or it will start if it goes to this one the negative it will start going left right and it'll also either go all the way left or about halfway left halfway right you know so it, it, it just it just changes the the the, the intensity at which it goes left and right the up and down the Z is always the same it's just gonna add it on and the Y is always the same I'm not changing that at all uh, once the animation or the timeline is done we're just gonna destroy the actor and this is just setting the opacity as well which is right here now for spawning so uh, we have two um, custom events this one's the light flicker. All this is it's another uh, this uh, timeline. All of the all this is for is making the lights go bigger and smaller. So it will this will always just get bigger, go back to base, get bigger, go back to base, and this one will get smaller, normal, smaller, normal, right at different uh, speeds. That's all this is set for. And as for spawning the smoke. We just need to uh, randomly choose, oh yeah, so custom event, timer. The time is anywhere from 
half a second to a full second. That's the t uh, you know time in between that it spawns. There's a word for it. I can't think of it. Frequency. That's the frequency at which it spawns. And we just spawn the actor at the same location as the campfire, just uh, a little bit higher up, right? Eight eight units up. Um, but also the uh, so that yeah, the same location, same rotation. But the scale is also random in either the X and the Z. It can be um, you know anywhere from 0.75, so a little bit smaller, or you know 1.25, a little bit bigger, and it randomly changes size. Yeah, and that's what I've been working on. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily better than how it was before. It's definitely more unique, I'll say. Right there, it's 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 more random, so a lot more to it, I guess. Makes it more alive, we'll say. Uh, I think it came out nice, though. Overall, I really like it. And last thing, I'm just gonna put it up on screen now, is how I'm thinking about doing the map. I said I was gonna put it on screen, but I realized I could just show you. This is how I'm thinking I'm gonna do the map. Um, it's a... Uh, not really a one-to-one, -one, but like every tile every 8x8 eight eight tile is one pixel so if I have you know I have it like this I just go in and create a smaller version scaled down version of it so it's the same exact thing but smaller and you know for things like the campfire here or signs I'll have little um, pop-up like waypoints oops, that I can just place in the map um, and the size can scale you know, it, it doesn't matter. It's it's all it's all for the future, anyways. And for characters, you know, if there's an important character, it'll just be their profile, like right? like their their face, um, as the waypoint. So that's what I'm thinking about doing the map in the future. I don't know what I'm gonna work on next. Probably the campfire, inventory, party system, all that stuff. So now, see you guys in the next progress update.